everyone welcome again to my channel so today we will discuss one problem in lead code that is 283 move zeros so what the problem statement is saying is given an array nums write a function to move all zeros to the end of it while maintaining the relative order of the non-zero elements means we will be given one array here and from that array we have to maintain the non-zero numbers position fixed and we have to move the zeros at the end of the array. So here if we take one example 0 1 0 3 12 that is the original array. So what you have to do is all the zeros we have to move till the end. So two zeros we have to shift and the result will become 1 3 12 0 0. So how to solve this problem we will see next. So here I have taken the same input and I have additionally added one more input also. So this is the first array and what we can see from here and this is the result and this is the second array and this is the result we can get from here. So now if we check here what actually we have to do. So the first thing we have to do is we have to check like how many zeros are there and then we have to move it to the end. So here also all the zeros we can see here which move to the end. But one more thing to notice here is all the non-zero values they are also moving right. So 1 move to the first position then 3 move to the second then 12 move to the third position and same way 2 was before in the first position it is there 3 we move to the second position. So one thing we can apply here is rather than moving the zeros till the end what we can do is all the non-zero value we can shift it towards the first positions. Then later on we can fill the array with zeros. So if we go to the next section then it will be more clear. So suppose here in this case So this is my array here from here what we have to do is we can declare a variable called position and initialize it with 0. Then we have to move from left to right. So the first position we have to check if this value is a non-zero value or not. So this value is not a non-zero value it is 0. So nothing we have to do we will move next and we can check here the value is a non-zero value that is 1. So if we get a non-zero value that time so whatever is the position index there we can place this value that means position is 0 now so in the 0th index we can place 1 we can update 1 here then we will move to the next here it is 0 so nothing to do here it is 3 it is a non-zero value so, so when actually we are moving here then that time we have to increase this counter also 1. So now when we found the another non-zero value that time we got the position as 1. So in the position of 1 we have to update 3. Then we have to increase the counter to 2. So after moving we can get another non-zero value. So that time we have to check what is the position value that is 2. So we have to move 12 here or we can simply assign 12 here and then we can increase the counter and after that nothing is there means that is the end of the array. So now another for loop we can take and we can start from this position that is 3 and then we can fill the rest of the array with 0. So if you compare this is the result actually. So how to do this now in coding we will see now. So now we will start with the coding. So here first we will define a variable called position and initialize it to 0. Then we will write a for loop here uh, where integer i from 0 then i less than equal to nums dot length i plus plus. So first thing we have to do is we have to check if the current number is 
non zero or not so now set the position of i if not equal to zero then nums at the position there we can assign this current number and obviously we will increase this position variable after this so that is the way all the non-zero numbers will get its position so next we have to fill the arrays last portion with zero so what we can do is for that purpose is in copy it and we can start from position and there nums dot i position there we can maintain it as zero so if we run the code now yeah it's running and if we submit the solution yeah it is working so if you look at the description that time i mentioned to uh, forgot to mention is you must do it uh, in in place without making a copy of the array yeah we maintained the same thing means we do not take any extra array or something and minimize the total number of operations yeah so that is all about this solution so the link for the code also i will put it in the description thanks for watching